hello guys welcome to lime guru tutorial in this tutorial we are going to cover how you can write a java program to enable java processes to run at a particular schedule using spring and what i mean by schedule is like cert there might be certain requirements like you want to run your java processes after certain interval or after certain delay or after at or at certain frequency you want to define certain frequency to your program or process java process so we are going to enable that today using spring so what i have done is i have created a maven project as you can see the structure is in compliant with the maven project there is a pom.xml file if you will see the pom.xml file you will see there is one dependency for spring framework and we are going to use spring context for en enabling scheduler using spring and we are using 3.0.2 release version for the spring context jar file let's look at the program now so you will see there are three programs i have written one is fixed freight scheduler another one is fixed delay scheduler and the third one is cron scheduler so spring supports these three kinds of scheduling that you can configure as per your requirement and the difference between all these three scheduling is uh, let's cover one by one so first is fixed rate scheduler fixed rate scheduler is as the name suggest the program will run after at a particular rate and the rate can be predefined within the program it can be configured through properties file or it can be it can be um, hard coded in the program though hard coding is not recommended but for this tutorial we are going to demo this program through hard coding only so fixed rate scheduler is like you want to schedule your program at a particular fixed rate let's say 5 second so if you configure this program to run at an interval of 5 second then program will be called again and again at a fixed rate of interval of 5 second let's see the program so you'll see fixed rate scheduler i have defined run method within this class and i have used a special annotation at the rate scheduled this is annotation provided by spring context and with this annotation i have defined the fixed rate as 5000 milliseconds which is equivalent to 5 second so if i'll run this program then this run method will be called automatically it will detect where at the rate schedule annotation is configured and the method where this annotation is configured that will be called automatically and the program will run so this program is going to run at a fixed rate of 5 seconds after every 5 seconds this program will get called similarly we have fixed delay scheduler fixed delay scheduler is similar to fixed rate scheduler but the difference is that once the program finishes then the next time it will run it will wait for a fixed delay and fixed delay is configured here so let's suppose this program is running at uh, let's say 10 15 5 at 10 15 right and this program takes around 5 minutes to complete its execution and the fixed delay is configured as 10 minutes so this program will be called at 10 15 it will take 5 minutes then the time would be 10 20 and we have defined the fixed delay as 10 more minutes so this program will make after its execution for 10 minutes more so it will the next run will be at 10 10 30 after a delay of 15 minutes because 5 minutes this program will take to finish and 10 minutes you have defined the fixed delay but in this example we have configured the fixed delay as uh, 5 seconds so once this program finishes this program will wait for five seconds and then the next execution for the same program will be done so fix so the main difference between fixed rate and fixed delay is fixed rate doesn't wait for the previous run to complete it will automatically 
run at a fixed rate irrespective of the previous run has completed or not but fixed delay it will wait for the previous wait to finish previous run to finish first and then it will wait for a fixed delay which is configured here and then the next execution will happen and then we have the cron scheduler so cron scheduler you might already be aware about the cron expressions through cron exp expressions you can you have the flexibility to define the cron schedule for any for this process to run what i mean by cron schedule like through cron expression you can configure this program to run every 5 seconds every 10 minutes every 1 hour every monday every tuesday every first day of the month every week so there, there are different expressions supported through this cron expression which you can configure here within this schedule annotation by defining cron parameter and this uh, program will run at that rate only which is defined through this cron expression so these are three types of scheduling which spring supports and for this demo purpose i have written uh, one main class as app where you will find a main method what it is doing is it is loading uh, let me maximize this so what this program is doing it's just loading my application context.xml where my scheduler beans are initialized so let's see application context.xml which is defined here in src main resources so in application context.xml I have defined beans for all these three classes fixed fixed rate scheduler fixed delay scheduler and cron scheduler so right now fixed delay scheduler and cron scheduler are commented out uh, because I am going to first demo you fixed rate scheduler first so let's run this program once I will run this program this bean will be initialized fixed rate scheduler if I go into this class and the it will find for at the rate schedule annotation and the run method will be called so let's run this program through my main java application which is app.java run as java application so you'll see spring has been initialized and my fixed rate scheduler has been called so if i go into fixed rate scheduler i have just uh, I'm just logging out one statement that fixed rate scheduler is running at this time. So if you'll notice this time, first time it ran at 126.14. Then after 5 seconds it again ran 19, 24, 29, 34, 39. So this program is getting called again and again at an interval of 5 seconds. So this is fixed rate scheduler where this program is getting called at an interval of 5 seconds. Let's terminate this program. Let's try to run another type of scheduler. So we'll comment out fixed rate scheduler and we'll comment fixed rate scheduler and we'll comment out fixed delay scheduler. If you see the implementation of fixed delay scheduler, uh, so you will see that this run method will be called. This log statement will be printed that fixed delay scheduler is running at particular time, and then I'm intentionally putting a sleep time of three seconds. So this program will take around three seconds to complete and then it will take another 5 seconds for the next execution so the total delay would be 3 seconds plus 5 seconds which is 8 seconds let's run this program so first execution happened at 128.20 the next execution should happen at 28 yeah as you can see it 
waited for eight seconds and then the next execution happened if it would have been fixed rate scheduler then the program would have run after an interval of five seconds but as it is fixed delay scheduler so that's why this program is running at an interval of eight seconds three seconds for the sleep time and five seconds for the delay so this is the difference between fixed delay and fixed rate scheduler and you can see that this program is running at a constant interval of eight seconds because this program is always taking three seconds internally and then five seconds for the fixed delay okay let's close this program now next is the cron scheduler so in cron scheduler as i mentioned you can define your cron expression right now the expression that i have defined is same as fixed rate scheduler which is to run this program after every five seconds let's comment fixed delay scheduler and let's comment out cron scheduler now if i run this program a bean for the cron scheduler would be initialized and the run build method would be called for the cron scheduler yes you can see the log cron scheduler is running at 130 so next execution would be at 130.05 yeah as you can see here it's executing after every five seconds cron scheduler because i have configured the cron expression as to execute after every five seconds so this is so these are the types of scheduling which you can you implement using java and spring based on your requirement whether you want fixed rate fixed delay or cron scheduling this is how you can implement in java uh, the source code for the same you can download it from the link below this video it has been already been uploaded just click on that link and it, the complete package you will be able to download thanks for watching this hope thank you bye